So tra trapezius, right? Levator, okay? Scooping anterior to the trapezius, coming in. I move the, sca the, uh, the scapula superior, and then I hook with my two fingers, and now I've got the, uh, the serratus between the scapula and the ribs, and there's very little space in there for you. If you push your shoulder in, into my hand, you feel the upper digitations of serratus tightening up. Okay? The lower fibers of serratus, no problem. You see? No problem for the. So we see a lot of these scapular mobilizations, but it's always sort of like easy to get here and not so easy to get up and get the mobility here. And then relax. Now I take the lower part of the uh, scapula and. It's like a whole scapula lift. Yeah, uh, but no, not really. Only the superior part. Can you explain what you're doing there? So I'm taking the lower part and pulling it, holding it down to the thorax and taking the upper part and bringing it back. So I'm stretching the serratus. Because if I lift the whole thing, it's mostly going to be the inferior yeah. part that comes up. But that's not what we want, right? So we want to come in this way and start working the upper digitations of serratus to get that to release. Anterior to the trap. I'll show you on the skeleton in one second. As soon as we get that release, okay, nice deep breath in. Breathe out. And those that work on computers and using the the mouse all the time and reaching forward with that with that. Massaging all day. Massaging all day. Okay, now now what we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna come around your side. We'll switch spots. Now does she, we should, we're not supposed to mention tattoos, but this is good because it's a bird. Right? And we got a nice wing. <laughs> So we got both the superior angle now coming off and the inferior <coughs> angle. And now we can work that scapula into proper mechanics of the scapula. And we give the bird some new wings. Nice, see? So when you reach up, the scapula does that. When you bring the arm back down, it does this, right? So we're mimicking the motion of the scapula, which is called scaption. Superior, inferior, downward and medial rotation, upwards and lateral rotation. There we go. Once serratus lets go, I'm going to show you something that I shouldn't show you, but I'll show you anyways, because it's part of the, the ribs that come out, right? You know, a lot of people do this and they start working the scapula, right? Counter. It's just really twisting the scapula and anchoring the top part, which isn't benef beneficial in my, in my books. So I, I don't do that anymore. Although a lot of us have trained that in school, right? Mm -hmm. There's another one. There's another one. Three or four of them of those facets cavitating. Is there, can you give them home exercises so that it would strengthen the lower and not the upper? Um, I give them the wall exercise for strengthening serratus. Uh, I can show you that, or we can have her do that on the table on her elbows like it's like a planking but I call it the one inch punch
but but not you know not this. But if you put your elbows up and just push your elbows straight forward without rounding your back like that, like a push up triangle. Boy, I really feel the charade is working on that rib right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get you up and see how that feels. 